Hi there, in this tutorial I will show you how to prepare a professional PDF file to be sent to professional printers. This is quite important even at the beginner's level and it will allow you to create small jobs but they are well done for the printers. Of course, this work will be done for printers that are going to do 10,000, 20,000 copies. If you're sending to a friend to print or to a small printer for 100 copies, what you have done in the previous lecture will be much better. How do you prepare this file? Professional printers will print on a big sheet. This is an A4. He's not going to put an A4 in his printer. He's going to put maybe an A1 or his A0 or a roll, in fact and print several copies of your document, you know, aligned next to each other. Then you're going to take the whole lot and start cutting it to give you the exact format that you want, which is A4. And then you have now pieces of A4. But the printer cannot cut 100% on your lines here. If it goes inside, you will cut your paper. If it goes outside, you will have some white paper or around. It's not good at all. Now, this difference might be a millimeter or half a millimeter only. It's not going to be like three centimeters, okay? It's going to be, you know, very small distance. So you need to give him some guidance. You need to create what we call a bleed and some trim marks. A bleed is just a rectangle that is outside your document with a few millimeters. I mean, very few millimeters. How to set the bleed? You will go to File and you go to Document Setup. Of course, remember, guys, we are in CMYK here. And on top here, you have the bleed. The best bleed you can give is between 3 and 5 millimeters. 3 millimeters will work very fine. Don't worry about it. So you set the bleed at 3 millimeters and you click OK. Notice now the red here is the bleed. Now you want to create trim marks. The way to create trim marks is to select an object and then you create the trim marks according to this object. In our best example here, we come to view and make sure the smart guides are on. And we are going to create a rectangle just as the size of our document. Here we are going to set it at white, make sure it has no stroke. And of course, that's not what we want to print. We want to send it to back. So you have this rectangle, this object in the exact size of your document. Now you select this object, the rectangle. You go to Object and you say Create Trim Marks. In your document here, it has created these trim marks. Let me zoom in, I'll show you. So, actually, these trim marks exist in your document. You can see them over here. This is trim marks. I'm going to select all. Notice. And actually, the printer is going to cut on this black line here and this black line. But unfortunately, if it makes a mistake, you're going to have some white paper here. The best way to overcome this is whatever is on the corners, top, side, left, right, to you extend it a bit. For example, in the case of my rectangle here, I can just extend it just over here, put it on the bleed, and then this guy on the bleed, and also on the bleed. Very cool. So now, if the printer is cutting over here, just here, I can see yellow. I see blue here, quite cool. Now I have the rectangle here, which I'm going to extend also to over here. So now if it cuts, I'm OK. Let's go down, Command 0, and come over here, Command plus. I'm going to extend this guy just over here, and this guy over here, and of course the other one here. And my white rectangle, which is the background, I'm going to extend it so it covers everything. The printer is going to cut on the marks here. You know, you'll have something nice. Like 0 0.5 millimeter here, it's okay. It's yellow, blue. Here, it's white. So it's going to be quite good. Now, you have done the job. You have set your file professionally to be sent to a professional printer. Don't do this job if sending to a friend. This is really pro. Now, you need to print a PDF. That's the best thing to send to printers. And you're going to do some settings in the PDF. Let's go ahead. File. Save as, and of course, we're gonna come to the desktop and we're gonna select illustrated document here. And instead of Adobe Illustrator, Adobe PDF, same, same. And we are going to click save. Now, of course, preserve Illustrator editing capability, you don't want it. And Illustrator default here, you want to put it to 
the highest quality. Very good. And you remove this one again. Now, you have to come to marks and bleeds. And you could set here the marks and bleed if you have made a mistake here or you want them less. But usually we check use document bleeds. That is the work that we have done. And then you come to print marks. You can add these print marks. They are very nice, okay? They are useless to the printer sometimes, but they can help him in color calibration sometimes. Today, you know, they just do it on the fly. But let's add them and see what they are. And you click on Save PDF. And saving document, <laughs> you tell him, no, I don't want the printer to edit my document. And you click OK. Let's go and see our document. So you notice, send to print over here is 112 kilobytes. Not bad at all. Let's open the document. And you notice the document is perfect. Really perfect. You notice the three marks. And whatever the printer will make an error, I still have my corners. Here there are colors for color calibration, if needs be. I don't use them anymore. And here you have the grayscale, if needs be. And you notice it has some other marks here that will help the printer to print. Now you have a very professional file that you can send to the printer. Now you are a pro, not a beginner, in sending your files to professional printers and you have all the methods that you require.